is Lou again here in the South of France. Welcome to Lou's World. So uh, today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I've um, actually been asked to uh, show people how to prepare a caipirinha. As most of you may know, I'm, I'm Brazilian. I was born in Brazil and uh, caipirinha is considered uh, one of the national cocktails of Brazil. Uh, it's a very simple uh, drink to make that um, we prepare it with uh, cachaça, uh, sugar cane, hard liquor, um, whatever kind you want. If you don't have it, some people actually use vodka and they actually do a different kind of caipirinha. They call it caipi vodka. I might show that to you later in a different video. But today the focus is on cachaça. Uh, drink uh, made, I mean the uh, caipirinha drink where we use the cachaça. Um, you also will need some lemon, uh, mint, uh, ice and a glass and that's about it. I heard a lot of people say caipirina, caipira, caipirica, whatever, whatever, whatever. So let's start from the beginning how to actually say it right. So, I will divide the word into four syllables. Uh, kai, ki, ring, nya. So, basically, uh, the kai part, uh, if you think of a kite, that's the uh, pronunciation for the kai kirinya, like a ki for kite. So, kai, that's the first part. So, repeat that again, kai. Then the second syllable is uh, pi. And P sounds like really P when you need to do your number one. So P, Kai, P. Then the third syllable is Ring. Actually, Ring. And Ring, I could not find uh, any, any, any sound of another word in English that I could have used for this. So it's basically Ring, Ring, Ring. Like Ring, when you ring a bell, the Ring without the G. So ring, kaipirin, ring, kaipirin, ring, you could say that, yeah. And the last part is the nya part, which is the N-H-A. And for that sound, if you remember of El Nino, I know everybody, uh, at least in the U.S., can pronounce El Nino. So if you think of niña, that is the kind of sound for the N-H-A in Portuguese. So if we put everything together, we have kai, pi, ring, nya. If we say it all in one word, all together, kai, pi, ring, nya. So can you say that again, kai, pi, ring, nya? Come on, I cannot hear you. Try it again. <laughs> anyway, keep trying it. That uh, It doesn't matter whatever way you say. People will understand you, hopefully. But uh, it's nice, you know, to be able to say certain words in the right pronunciation uh, of the language that it comes from. So, in Portuguese, that's caipirinha. And today, I'm going to show you how to prepare an authentic caipirinha. And uh, authentic, I'm not sure if I can get it that right. Although I am from Brazil, it doesn't mean that I'm a specialist or an expert in caipirinhas, but I think I know you know, how to prepare a very good cocktail. So, um, stay tuned. I'll show you now the next steps to prepare a good caipirinha. All right, thank you. Hello everybody, here I am again, and this is the uh, glass, I did all that fancy stuff, and here's the final product, or the minimum viable product <laughs> that I could come up with, so let's give this another good shake and give this baby a try, let's see, here I am, let's try this caipirinha, oh yeah, I can see all the mint, and that was enough for one per 
person. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Let's give this a try. I'll tell you if it's not good, all right? Let me give it another sip. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's very, very good. I can taste the cachaça, of course. It's very strong. The lime is there. The mint is there. Yeah, it's pretty good. So why don't you guys give it a try and uh, uh, impress your friends with your Brazilian-made, uh, Brazilian-style, uh, I would say, uh, homemade caipirinha. Have a good weekend, everybody, and thanks for watching my video. You take care. Bye.